just one of those uh, playoff grind grind games. And, and, you know, like we talk about all the time, you know, now it's you really got to play good defense. And, and I thought our players uh, did a great job. Wasn't, wasn't anything different that we've been doing, but just a couple adjustments that they really paid attention to. And, and just I thought we played really hard. You know, Lang- Langston's uh, got a good team. They're athletic. Uh, they got some skill. And uh, it's just a really good job our players on defense especially. Well, to your point, 18 steals and nine blocked shots. I mean, that, those those two numbers by themselves tell the story of defense today. It does, and you know, and Taylor and Abby in the middle. Uh, and then I thought our guards up top did a really, you know, they were really smart, getting their hands on balls, being in the right spots. And then Brennan and Shyla, you know, just kind of cleaning everything up there on those wings. Uh, just a, a really, really good job by everybody that played today on defense. As far as Langston's defense goes, they were they were kind of running some jump zone to start things off, and they would go man for a little while. What were they doing defensively that was bothering you a little bit? Well, I, I just thought, uh, that, you know, they're they're athletic and quick, and it wasn't so much uh, what they're doing. It's just they got good players. You know, they got good players that are quick and athletic. They can stay in front of you, and uh, and I thought once we could get the ball inside a little little more, uh, that kind of softened it up a little bit. Got Mallory some shots. Uh, and then in the second half, uh, I thought spreading them out a little bit helped us uh, being able to get to the basket. And uh, I talked to him at halftime about, you know, we got to get get to the free throw line. We got to, you know, throw that ball to the block. We got to, you know, attack that rim and get to the free throw line. And uh, we're at our best when we're doing that. To that end, you do make a switch at halftime, start Abby to come out in the third quarter. And she played for quite a while. Usually she goes about five minutes at a time. That time she was out there for almost eight minutes to yeah. start before she came back out. I thought the game, the, you know, the way the, way the game was kind of slowed. You know, we, they're, they're playing some zone, we're playing some zone. So she was, I, I was watching her face, and she was able to go a little bit longer, go a little bit longer. And, you know, we're in playoff time now. So, you know, she's kind of been on a pitch count, you know, for yeah. the season with that knee. And uh, now, now we gotta we gotta get her more minutes, and uh, you know her and Taylor, especially when we're playing them both together, they're both gonna play uh, probably the same minutes they have been. It's just sometimes just kind of moving them around, uh, especially especially uh, when we have matchups that we can take advantage of with both of those players. Yeah, it seemed like you you shortened up the rotation just a bit today. How do you handle that? I mean, the conference tournament is one thing. You're gonna have uh, games, hopefully back to back days coming up this weekend, but yeah, the national tournament, and if you advance to the championship game, that means you've won four games in six days. Right. Because you've got to win five and seven to win the championship. So how do you kind of manage minutes in that kind of a schedule? Well, the biggest thing right now is just, you know, having people ready to play. Uh, I thought Jalen Knight gave us good minutes today. Uh, she's going to get more more of that, the, you know, that she keeps playing like that. Uh, Sham coming in and, and changing the game a little bit the way she does, that, that gets somebody off the floor. Uh, so we, we're, we're able to, you know, play, play nine, ten deep. I, you know, Jordan Eden comes in the game. I trust her at any time, uh, just the way she, you know, she knows what she's doing. She's strong, physical. So, uh, you know, we, we can play, we can play our bench, uh, just as well as anybody. And, uh, now's the time for them to, to start playing. So it sets up a game now, and we've been watching this. Mac U gets the win over Texas Wesleyan. So Mac U will be your opponent on Friday. Uh, I know you probably haven't even thought about that game yet because you didn't know who you were going to play and had right. to focus on this one. But just saw them about a week, uh, week, two weeks ago. Uh, what, what do you, what do you expect for that matchup and and going forward in the conference? Just time? always a team that plays extremely hard. Uh, they've got one of the best players in the league, probably be named first team all conference yep. in Shannon. Uh, and then everybody else on that team can shoot it. So they're, they're always a little problem if they're making shots. And, uh, you know, I thought we played well last time we played them. We just need to, you know, go do it again. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Thank you. Then the Stars get a 69-47 to win over Lancaster.